Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, all welcome, welcome, welcome. All we talk about here is home educating in the United Kingdom and neurodivergent life in a family of five. Uh, specifically, all the things about being mum of three kids uh, or just kids in general, to be fair. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Your support means the world to me. Today, we're going to talk about how to deal when the day just goes wrong. What do I do? Because I get it. Home educating your children is hard if you add in that you have multiple aged children or that you have any sort of clashing neurodivergence bad days can get really bad and they can get really bad fast especially if you are a mum who is now neurodivergent too I hear ya um I actually had recently an ADHD assessment and I'm waiting for my feedback appointment uh, my husband is suspects very highly that he is autistic and we have three autistic children who we also suspect that they are all ADHD as well like our house is super interesting <laughs> and everyone's neurodiversity clashes sometimes everyone's needs clash everyone's sensory uh, overwhelms clash and it's hard today for me it was one of those days nobody did any home ed today apart from charles and that's because he was at a class and that's okay i'm going to tell you why it's okay I also, another thing that's also okay is today, I lost my temper with my children. I shouted at them. I shouted at all three of them. Two of them for one thing and one of them for another thing. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it at all. And actually I'm really embarrassed and I'm kind of ashamed, but I apologize. I calmed down, I scooped them up in my arms, I apologised and when they said it's okay mama I said no it's not okay, it is not acceptable behaviour for me to speak to you like that, it is not acceptable behaviour for me to treat you like that even when I'm really really cross and I'm saying sorry and if it's okay mama we understand, no it's not okay, it's not okay for me to yell at you in that way and that is the point when we lose our poop with our kids it is okay but it's only okay if we apologize afterwards <clears throat> it's not okay for us to lose our temper and then sweep it under the carpet it's not okay for us to lose our temper and then pretend we didn't it's absolutely okay for us to lose our temper as long as we make amends afterwards and that's what i did i made amends with all three of my children and everything's okay again um rupture and repair i ruptured by losing my temper and then i repaired by saying sorry and say, and and promising my children i would try harder next time so what do i do on difficult days well the first thing that goes out the window is home ed because that is the beauty of home education is that we can just say stuff it we're done today so I'm going to tell you about my bad day and then you can tell me how if you've had a bad day today what's been going on with you let's share let's vent uh, because this is what I want this space to be I want this space to be where you feel that you can talk to me and I feel I can talk to you today was one of those days I think it might be that time of the month uh, soon so I'm feeling a little bit emotionally fragile a bowl of dog food was knocked out of my hand and it went all over the stair gate that we the safety gate that we have in the kitchen it went all over the carpet and it went all over the kitchen floor uh, I have not vacuumed my dining room in the last week and a half, so it's uh, because our vacuum cleaner is broken. Uh, and it's my husband is trying to fix it. He's trying to fix it today. He's uh, completely stripped it all apart and he's uh, sorting it out. But that means that there is dog hair on my floor. Of course, there's dog hair. I have two dogs, but um, yeah, it's fluffy down there. I'm thinking that I've got th why my mouth uh, and it's shedding season. We have a Labrador and a. Um, she's the biggest breeds in her are chow chow great dane labrador i can't remember the other one um there's there's like the big ones so she sheds <laughs> she sheds a lot and it's shedding time so there is hair everywhere and when you don't have a vacuum cleaner that's working it's really hard um so the dog food got covered in fluff and <laughs> thanks i just shouted the child's name as they were like and said their name and oh my gosh and just as we were trying to go out as well and then as we got downstairs 
just about get rid of the house I put my I have a handbag that's also a backpack I swung it onto my back forgetting that I had put my mug with my protein shake on the banister like the little post a bit of the banister and as I swung my bag on I knocked it over it went all over the console table that we have in the hallway it hit the fruit it splashed on the wall it splashed on the new rug it splashed on the floor and it splashed on all of the stuff that's just waiting to go somewhere else in the hallway like there is in lots of people's houses and I just was in shock I called my son who had already got into the car my almost 13 year old son and I said mate can you just give can you just look behind me and then give me a really really big hug and he went yeah of course and he went looked behind me and he went oh oh mama and then gave me a really really big hug and he was rubbing my back and he kissed me on the cheek and he said do you need to clean that up now I looked at the time and I said nope I'm just gonna leave it like I'll deal with it later and actually my husband dealt with it later because he's a star <laughs> and then when we had dropped him off at his STEM club uh, where he is building an intruder alarm with his teacher and his friends and um I took the dogs for a walk with the other two kids. Now, my puppy, Taylor, uh, you've met her in videos before, pulled like she was pulling a sled and she's a husky the entire way, which was really, really stressful. And I thought, I know, I'll slip Lily's lead, Lily, who is six and very chill, onto Taylor's lead. So it's like a double lead because I didn't have the double lead with me. And I'll just then hold on to just to Taylor and Lily's just kind of floating around. She's happy. And then... Lily stood still and Taylor pulled in the opposite direction. Snap. Lily's lead snapped. Luckily, Lily is a very good dog. She did not move away from me. Uh, I called, uh, she was, she was, I called her straight to me and then I just held on to the other end. <sighs> then we found this off the lead dog park. It's very, very cute. The dogs were having a great time. The kids had gone into the park, which was, you know, within ear, eye shot and earshot. And uh, then they came down to join us. They were playing. We had a really, really nice time. And there was workout equipment like there is in lots of parks. And the kids said, and Bessie and Albert said, film us doing our workout. So I go to film them. The dogs rush to the gate. I call the dogs away. Bessie goes out and she opens ever so slightly for Albert, shuts the latch on his finger and rips off a chunk of skin blood everywhere and he's crying his eyes out he is um whatever blood phobic is whatever the real name for it is he's terrified he's going very very pale i'm thinking oh i don't need you to pass out at this point so he's just covering it because if he can't see it he's kind of okay with it <sighs> so i'll tell you what we did we went we went back to the car got my first aid kit patched him up we went and got Charles. We drove home. We stopped at a at a shop. We picked up lunch because there was no way in, in hell was I making lunch when we got home because I was going to burn the house down or something like that. Something bad, something equally bad was going to happen. Something's in retrograde, clearly. And I bought squirty cream. I bought flakes. I bought hot chocolate powder. I bought um, billionaires sprinkles for cupcakes and i bought pizza and hash browns and waffles and fish fingers and sausage rolls whatever the kids wanted to eat we had a bit of a feast and they had massive hot chocolate so i'll include a picture here on the screen they were very indulgent and i said it's just whatever you want to do this afternoon is fine and that's it and I sat with myself and I was beating myself up for being really, really mean to them. And in turn, and I felt like I was being really mean to them. Really, I just lost my temper, but I felt like I was being really, really mean to them. And I wasn't really, but that's how I felt at the time. And that's okay. And then I was being really, really mean to myself. So I took out these affirmation cards that I have made to remind myself I'm actually doing a good job. And I just said them to myself three times for each card I felt it's better so that's inspired me to make this video tell you about my really really bad day today and share my affirmation cards with you they're free on my channel on my shop they're free they're for you print them out say them to yourself three times whenever you are having a bad day and ditch the day I ca we came back I got into my pajamas and I actually led down we all kind of just went to our rooms I led down in my bed with the dogs for two hours it was too much so that's my Bye tips boy. when the day is getting difficult 
finish the day. The day is done. Have a massive hot chocolate, have a pizza or fish fingers and waffles or whatever it is you want to eat. And when you're beating yourself up for, for being a bad mum, when you're probably just a mum who's overwhelmed and stressed, take, take out your affirmation cards that you're going to download from my shop. Say each one to yourself aloud three times and then leave me a comment and tell me how you feel afterwards. Have you had a bad day today? If you have, leave me a comment in the description. I would love to hear about your bad day. And I reply to every single comment. I would love to give you some encouragement and ease your problems. Joy shared is joy doubled. Sorrow shared is sorrow halved. Share with me and let's halve that. Let's halve those burdens for you. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You take care. I love you very much.